Hello everyone and welcome back to Ichiraku's. <laughs> Actually, we are playing Supermarket Simulator and we are now on to episode 122 and day 243. Let's get inside. We'll open up. And I think we should put on the lights. Yeah, the chaotic lights. Uh, at some point, maybe I should go through and remove all these lights and put them up again. Or I could just leave them as is. Chaos is perfect. Okay, all the shelves are mostly restocked, except for the ones that are intentionally empty. And there is a few of this, those like this one back here. We're saving it for our next license. Okay, let's get into the storage room. And we got a lot of storage space still that we can utilize at some point. So the next thing, I do want to kind of finish out the storage room before I expand. But is that the best decision? I don't know. Let's look at our management menu here. We still have two product licenses to get. So the current one, we have already unlocked that. But it's 34000 to purchase it. So we are quite a ways off from getting that one. And the next one is at level 90. Looking forward to that one too. We are currently at level 87, so that's pretty good. We're getting there. Hello, sir. You have one single item. Okay. 685, please. And already our day is off to a very slow start. I wish I could encourage people to spend more money. $9.30. Oops. There you go, ma'am. Like, I feel something has definitely changed that has caused people to, like, not want to spend as much. I just don't know what it is and how to fix it. Because everyone has been so cheap lately. Well, not everyone, but a lot of the customers are just buying one or two items. And it's like, if the day were longer, maybe that would be okay. But how are we supposed to, like, really make be productive if the customer is only spending so little at a time you know this kind of stymies the growth of our business and that's not what we want we want to grow 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 there's a lot of things we need to purchase still okay let's get back here we'll turn on these lights as well and even the bells like they seem like a lot more than they were before like, look at our bills, daily bills, $350, that's crazy, and on top of that, we have to pay for our cashiers and the restockers, yeah, they are pricey because $90 for each one, that is a lot of money for the restockers, and $80 for the cashier, I don't know if it's wise for us to maybe get rid of some of our cashiers and try to... But that's not going to save enough for it to be worthwhile, I don't think. Okay, let's get back at it. No one's at our tilt as yet. So the next thing I want to do is try out for the customization. I want to check out the paint. That's not in here. That's in the market menu. Right. So we have different paint choices and I want to see if the paint, how much actual paint we need to do a room. Because with the flooring, we definitely need multiple pieces. There's 10 per box and that does not get us very far, does it? Because this is 10 right here. But we got a customer. Oh, this one's a decent customer. Hello, sir. And that's $70.40. It's not a whole lot of money, but it's better than the rest of the folks we've had so far today. Hey, Steve. And your total is $91.85. I'll take your money. There you go. And $60.15. So 
So today, like, I don't even know what kind of goals I should have for daily goals anymore. It just seems like no matter what I hope for, it never quite gets there anymore. Like, we definitely get over a hundred customers. But the sales, they're kind of a mixed bag. Kind of between 7,500 up to about almost 9,000. But not going over the 9,000 mark, it seems. So, on... Ultimately, like, we've had days where we've had over 10,000 before. So I don't understand why we can't get there anymore. Why 8,900 seems to be the top. But we'll see how things go today. Okay, well, it has been busy with customers. But overall, our sales are still pretty weak. Everybody's just buying one or two items, it seems. Not this guy, though. He's got quite a few pieces of food here. Uh, thank you, sir. 173.45. And he's definitely our top spender. Top spender of the day. We appreciate him. Ma'am. 63.35. There you go. Okay, well, it is closing time. Still quite a few people in the store, though. And that will be 98.40. Give you your change. There you are. Have a fantastic evening. Okay, things are trying, starting to slow down a bit now. Are there anybody still shopping? Oh, we got a customer. <laughs> Without fail, every time we try to walk away. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Nope. No one is still shopping. Do we need to get anything restocked below? Um, that's looking fine. Oh, I was wrong. There is people still shopping. She's a last minute buyer. Oh, there's another one. Kind of running out of cereal here. I'll have to see if there's some in the back room. Oh yeah, there's plenty. The guys just haven't gotten around to it as yet. There we go. We'll help them out. Trash. So... We should probably get some more bleach here. Some toilet paper, paper towel. Yeah, the paper products are always the toughest to maintain. Okay, let's get some of those. And I also want to try out the paints. So what kind of paint do we want to try? I don't want anything, like, really obnoxious. You want something that's basic. What is a good color? Uh, let's experiment with this one. We only want to try with one. I just want to see how much coverage it gets. I'll go back to the products. Let's look in the cleaning tab. We need some bleach. And I think we needed some of this toilet paper. Maybe this one. And we need this. And that. Let's double check though. Um, yeah, that'll work for now. Okay, did I get the right bleach? The WC. I think that's the right one. Yeah, that's what we need. Um, we can fit two more items in there. What else should we get? Let's get... Some more kegs. And that is not a cleaning product. Uh, 
There we go. We need that one. And we can place this order tomorrow. Let's double check if all the customers have left. Indeed, they have closing time. 104 customers, 8,300 in sales. Okay, hand soap, hot sauce, and brown sugar. Price changes. Is it this brown sugar? Nope. This one? Ah, uh, yeah. This one's gone up quite a bit. Let's go at 525. What was the other item? Some hand soap? Is this hand soap? No, this is dish soap. Uh, this one has gone down in price. Let's go with 260. What was the other item? I already forgot. It was something. <laughs> we might have to check the market tab. Lights on, store open. Brown sugar. Well, okay, let's just go block. We'll go place our order as well. And purchase. Purchase. Okay, what was it that changed in price? Scroll, scroll, scroll until we see it. Oh, right, hot sauce. I knew that. After I saw it again. Hot sauce is back here. Okay, this one is not hot sauce. But this is. There we go. Oh, it's gone up in price. Good, good. Let's go at 535. That price works. Okay, and we'll go check out our paint. Now, is this the paint? Yep. I'm gonna check it. Try it in the back room. So... What? It only does like a... It only does a section at a time. Oh. That's interesting. <laughs> so like if you want to have like some sort of crazy mosaic like patterns on here. <laughs> I guess you can kind of try to do that. It's probably easier to do with uh, nothing behind or the shelves moved. Oh, there's no paint in bucket. Well, it doesn't really specify, so I think that's one, two, three, four, maybe five. What am I supposed to do with this now? Do I trash it? Yeah. Okay, well, we got customers now. Painting is really expensive too, it seems. Okay, so your total is $20.30. So if it's gonna cost, like, I don't know, it might be worthwhile to wait to do the painting. Because, like, once I expand with the paint carry through, like, I don't know. Yeah, so maybe we won't do any more painting for now. Um, ma'am, your total is three dollars. She bought one single item. Seventy-two sixty, sir. Well, I'm hoping today is gonna be better than it was yesterday. And if not, we might have to look at just increasing our prices again. So 121 sir, you got $29 back. So yeah, I'm hoping to get over 9000 and if not, we'll just have to look at increasing our prices. Okay ma'am, your total is 61.75. 
325 change for you. There you go. Okay, well, things have been as slow as they were yesterday. Lots of customers, not a lot of people spending a lot. But it is 9 p.m., so it's just about closing time. And we have this gentleman patiently waiting. Even though he got here first, I guess this guy was in queue first. And 4660 is your total, sir. And that's going to be 104.75. Got a quarterback for ya. Oh, good night, ma'am. Okay. Let's see. Did we sell out of anything? Oh, we're running out of paper towel. Or is that that's another type of toilet paper? Oh, no. Can I order some of that stuff? Hopefully nobody notices. $93.30. There you go. Oh, this is a big order. And that comes to 131.40. Okay, have a good night, sir. So yeah, sales were not that great, but we still have a few customers to get us over 20,000 for today. Well, not 20,000 in sales, but our total could be up to 20,000. Now we got another customer here. Oh, we ran out of chicken too. Should I get another freezer for chicken maybe? I don't really want to. Maybe we'll just use some more storage space. And have it in the back room. Right now I have like four shelves. For chicken. But we do periodically run out. Oh, we need some lights back here. Much better. So, yeah. Our painting situation is not looking good. It's going to cost us quite a bit to get this all done. But we'll wait until we're finish fully expanding before we do any more painting. Well, at least we got not a bad color. And it's only really $200 per can of paint. So it might not as be as expensive as the flooring will be. I guess we'll see. Depends on how much panels it will take to do this, this area out here. And the entirety of this area too. Because this one panel was pretty big. But then over here we got like a tiny panel. So we will see. Okay, are all the customers gone for today? They have. And we have made. Oh my goodness. Well, we had 108 customers, but only 77 hundred in sales. Atrocious. Well, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.